This was one of the projects that we came up with, bird bath. I don't quite know how the idea emerged, but it was this idea, it would be lovely to fill the church with bird song. It was very much made for New Haven, but various people had said, what a wonderful idea, it's so simple, but it really seemed to capture the imagination of people. And then there was an opportunity to bring it to Brighton Festival, and we pitched it and they said, absolutely love it. We sort of wanted to frame it a bit more because New Haven had been very small scale and simple, but Alice is an amazing musician and works with an incredible ensemble. I'm very interested in meditation. So we started with the, the Dawn Chorus Day breakfast and then we're going to end with a concert and a meditation. I'm really passionate about bringing nature back into culture. This idea of an eco-social breakfast came up. I'm like, let's listen to the birds and let's share food together. We created a breakfast here this morning for about 40 people in a banquet style down the centre of the church with a, a table laid with cloths and everything set out. And we like to serve people at the table so they get a full kind of experience, a really kind of generous experience. One of the unique things of our biosphere, which is the area between the Ouse and the Ada, up to the Downs, is this amazing variety of habitats. The soundscape, as well as being a space to bathe, almost abstract acoustic space, if you like, it's also a kind of portrait of the biosphere. For so many reasons, it felt really interesting to explore bringing very young children into some of the processes, into some of the philosophies of listening, the practices of listening, the practices of deep listening, some really fun practices of kind of listening with contact mics to trees and to wood lice and amplifying the tiny sounds you don't normally hear. So if you were a creature that lived in the tree, how would you, how would you communicate? We listened to like the birds, like plants, like our footstepping, the wind, like all of the trees. Today in the forest we were walking and then we went to um, listen to what the trees were talking about. During the week it's completely free form. You can stay for five minutes, you can stay for five hours, you can do whatever you like. There's no framework at all. It's Whatever happens, you snooze, if you daydream, that's wonderful. And then the concert, of course, is a bit more structured in the sense that I'm going to be inviting to us to meditate with the birds. And then Alice is going to invite us to play. Collectress is an ensemble that I've been playing with for, we've been playing together for nearly 25 years and our first album we've recorded in this church. So it's a very special place for us. The piece we're going to play is actually inspired also by a stream restoration project. So our performance will start in this small stream that's lost its way since medieval times and it's sort of being released back into create a wild wetland. And then our music will take you down on a path down to the sea, down to New Haven. And that's when you know you've arrived and then we'll invite the audience to come and join us with the birds as well. For me, in the core, it is about a space to relax and rest and to engage in a heightened way with natural sounds. It's a very gentle form of activism to resist capitalism, to resist extractivism, and just to sit and be and remember that nature is culture. Not to conceptualise, not to theorise, but just to feel that we are really part of nature and to remember our place in the wider patterns of life.